Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. January is in the books. It is February 1st, Tuesday, 2022. We'll get to our free play in college basketball in just a moment. It was a tremendous February, as you know, in the NBA. Uh, we're on 6-0 and and 17-3-1 runs going into the month of February. In fact, going all the way back to October 21st, we're now on a 56-28, 67% NBA run. And we picked up $11,610 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Passed on Monday, but I'm back at it with the five-star in the NBA on Tuesday. Got a pair of college basketball plays on Tuesday. Uh, we split last night in college basketball one and one. Uh, we're up over $3,000 this season in college baskets. No NHL today, but I do have soccer, and we're on a 13-4 and four soccer run. And going back to last year, this run, a uh, longer-term run, is up over $4,200. Passed yesterday back in soccer action. I bring it up. It's a rare six-star play. It's a World Cup qualifier in South America late afternoon game. So you can check that out on my homepage if you wish. Also, before we get to today's free play, quick note, uh, we will be talking more about the Super Bowl. As you know, right now in a lot of books, Rams laying four and a half and a few books, they're four, the total 48 and a half. We've seen six figure bets already out of the blocks on Cincy, six figure bets, at least one on the Rams. So people are betting big money right out of the blocks. And we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what we're doing for the Super Bowl. Next week with Chuck Esposito, we're going to talk Super Bowl props for entire show. One final note before I get to the free play. Uh, that live video that I'm going to start. We're going to start on Friday. Going to let you know the exact time as we get closer to it. But right now we're looking at about 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. This way we got a chance to talk about some college basketball games on Saturday. Uh, also, we'll be answering any of your questions, your topics. Again, I've been checking out the comment section each and every day. Uh, so if you've got topics, you got questions you want to talk about, we'll kick off the live interactive show on Friday with those thoughts from you guys. All right, and I think it's going to be a great time. So anyway, let's get to it. Yeah. Uh, Free play on Tuesday is the Creighton-UConn battle at UConn. The Huskies right now, uh, for the most part, lay in 10. There are some nine and a halfs as I cut this video. I'm going to recommend shopping around and grabbing those points with the Creighton Blue Jays, the most points you can get. Uh, we've been on, we've been against Creighton this year. The, we had them against Villanova in December when they whipped Villanova in Omaha by 20. And one of our biggest plays of the season, we were on Nova in the rematch when Nova beat Creighton by 34 points. They've been a little shaky of late. They had a bad second half. They had a great first half the other day on Saturday. Had a horrible second half. I expect them to put the game, uh, put both halves together and have a good game here after a couple of shaky performances. This pretty good basketball team. They're extremely young. I've told you before, man. They had a top 10 recruiting class this last offseason. This isn't the year. Next year is the year this team is going to make a late, deep March run as far as I'm concerned. They go into this game, they're hitting over 55% of their twos. Not a good three-point shooting team, but over 55% of their two-pointers. UConn's not a good shooting team. In fact, they're under 49% inside the three-point line. Also wanted to mention that the Huskies won't prefer to push the tempo, which makes a big number like this even tougher uh, to cover. Uh, final note on this, couple of angles under Coach McDermott for the Blue Jays. They're on a 33-17 and 17 spread run off a double-digit loss. They're also 25-11 and 11 against the spread off a straight-up home loss. And of course, they're in those scenarios tonight. We're going to recommend a play on Creighton. I do believe they hang this number at UConn on Tuesday, all right? If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, leave those comments about the upcoming Friday live show. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we get closer to Friday. Let's put them in the win column, everybody. Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.